Hello, welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined here with Stevens and Head Football Coach Ed Hoddle. And Coach, you welcomed Widener on Saturday. Um, fell behind early, fell down 17 nothing in the first half. Eventually tried to come back, you know, got down to 2014 and were driving for a game tie and game winning score. Um, and just fell ultimately 2014. Kind of just take us through the whole game, you know, falling behind and then trying to come back. Well, you know, I think we missed some opportunities, um, you know, particularly the fourth down, you know, at the school board end. You know, we had an opportunity to um, score a touchdown and get back in the game at that point. Um, you know, we opted to go for it instead of kick. You know, not kicking there really kind of changed the complexion of the game where if we kick there, we kick on the fourth and one at the 16, you know, we're kicking a field goal to win the game 23 to 20. So, you know, we kind of fell behind some opportunities you we weren't able to make plays when we needed to make plays and and ultimately you know it, it cost us a football game yeah and ultimately like you said obviously you know as a football coach you're always going to get second guessed on those types of calls um but you know like you said the thought process you know after you know when we interviewed post game was that hey we weren't moving the ball at that what point and we wanted to be able to cash in the touchdown Absolutely. You know, it's about scoring touchdowns. And, you, you know, we, we, we felt like we had a big play the play before to get us down, you know, to the two yard line. And we felt like we had a little bit of momentum. And, you know, the, the decision that I made to, to, to go for it there, I think was, you know, ultimately bears itself out as not the correct decision. Um, but given where how we had played and where we were on the field and, you know, having the struggles that we'd had, moving the football and getting it into the red zone, you know, we felt like a little bit of boost there and, you know, trying to make a big play to get us right back in it instead of, you know, kind of being patient as we went throughout the game. And that that's, was my thought process. Um, you know, unfortunately, it didn't work out. Yeah. That being said, you did make a couple big plays um, defensively, um, you know, where they almost took control of the game and almost put it out of reach, start second half. You fumble the opening kickoff, they recover, hold them to three when they start, I think, at like the 12. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they were driving for another touchdown. DJ Broxton came up with the interception. Mm -hmm. So you did a good job of, you know, staying in the game, at least on the defensive side of the ball. Absolutely. You know, it, it took us a little bit to figure out the scheme and what they were trying to do. And, you know, once uh, once we got that figured out, the kids were able to execute the adjustments and um, really held them in check for the better part of the second half. And, you know, I think it shows a lot of resilience in our team. It shows some signs of maturity being able to take adjustments and apply them to actual game play so that's that's definitely a positive sign for our football team yeah obviously two games left um you know obviously you know to hopefully play that 11th game somewhere whether it's you know max and having a bowl or ecac bowl um, obviously you need to win both. Um, what's the mindset going in the last couple of games? Well, you know, I think I alluded to it on Saturday. You know, we've got to play for one another first. And, you know, going out and preparing to win is, is kind of been the emphasis this week, having a great week of practice, having guys play together and play hard. Um, you know, we've got a great group of seniors that we'd like to send out on a high note. So for us, it's, you know, it, it's about coming together and continuing to grow as a football team. Yeah. This week you travel up to Wilkes. Um, you know, I don't think they're going to surprise, you know, certainly they're sitting, you know, 0-8, but certainly not going to surprise you. Obviously, they beat you here last year, and then this past weekend, they almost beat Albright. So, um, you know, talk about going into that game and, you know, you know, just – What's the mindset going into that game? Well, that's the thing is is you can't underestimate anybody. What right. what happened last week or in the previous seven games for them really doesn't have a whole lot of bearing on what happens on Saturday. Right. We've got to go out and execute our game plan and really work to play at a high level in a place where you know we haven't played particularly well up right. there. Um, you know, for whatever reason, over the course of the last seven years, you know, we've had some struggles up there. So we've got to be really locked in and, and, and go in there with, you know, the business trip mentality and, and, and play to our capabilities. And I think if we're able to do that and take care of the football, um, you know, I, I, I think we have a great shot to be successful Saturday. All right. Well, Coach, thank you. Best of luck on Saturday. For Ed Hoddle, this is Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.